That's a good way to wake up <laughs> <laughs> for the people who are watching this. Um, welcome. It's a pleasure to have you here. We just um, uh, saw that little clip of yours on a, on a little bridge in Amsterdam that went viral. Yeah, right, yeah. I've, I believe everyone confronts you with it because, yeah, it's, it's a really, it's a nice video. Mm -hmm. But it could have been anywhere, right? I mean, because you were traveling a lot, so. Yeah, yeah. Well, at the time, yeah, I just sort of left England and wanted to go around Europe a little bit more. And, uh, and Amsterdam is a natural stop off, you know, to, uh, you know, get inspired. And mm. uh, I've, I've been a few times before, but uh, yeah, it was the first time I'd ever gone and decided to a bit busking, so. Okay. Yeah. And how, how many years did you play uh, on the street? Uh, quite a few. Um, probably maybe three, three or four years. Okay. Um, from, from about the time I was about 21. Okay. So, was it something you enjoyed, or was it mostly necessary? Uh, Necessi a necessity. A, ne necessity. A, a, a necessity. It was. Uh, it was a little bit of both. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I do enjoy playing uh, in, in in the streets in public. It's uh, it's a great way to connect with people. It's loads of fun. It's good fun for other people, and you can get some money. But mm -hmm. it was never uh, something um, that that I thought I would be doing forever. You know, it was always to to move move forward and play some new styles too. Yeah. You know? Let's talk about what you do exactly. Um, mm -hmm. You play slide guitar with a whiskey flask, mm. amongst other things. Yeah. But let's talk about the whiskey flask. Why yeah. a whiskey flask? Um, well, um, I really like whiskey. Okay, that's a very honest, good reason. Yeah, and so I always had, you know, my trusty flask around with me. Ah. I've had this one for five years, you know, since I, six years maybe. Keeps um, you warm when you're playing outside. It used to, but I broke it, and it was the best thing that ever happened to me. Was breaking this flask, you know. So now, uh, you know, it's just it's purely for music. This one. Ah, but, but did you try any other objects? Yeah, yeah, everything. <laughs> I, I remember. Name me a few. I, uh, I used to use my lighter. You know, I used to use uh, knives. Um, knives. Yeah. Um, you know, the more dangerous the object, the, the more fun it seems to be. I mean, someone came down one time at a party, and I was playing, um, I was playing slide guitar with a guitar. Jeez. You know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but but okay. The, the flask's a little easier to carry around. Yeah, like why did that win? Is it is it because of the sound or it's yes, also a good shape? Sound shape, and. Uh, and also, I suppose it's fun, you know. And what kind of guitars do you use? Because mm -hmm. aren't you totally banging up your guitars with that thing? Yes. Um, well, they're old Hofners. Yes. So they're German guitars. They're both... Um, from which actually, year? Actually, they're both from 1965. I, I don't use the flask on this guitar, so I can still play. Okay. You know, but like, for example, this one, which I have used a lot, all of these uh, frets are all... Uh, Ruined. I mean, look. Oh, gee. So you're not going to get much... Uh, and, and how do you keep... Her or There's him alive? How, how do how do you? Oh, blood even. Yeah, yeah. Can we get that on camera? <laughs> blood on the guitar. It's it's um, something. I'm I'm not sure if the slide guitar is something you got from your dad, but mm. your dad has played an uh, important role in you picking up music, mm, right? Course, yeah, yeah. Like like how would you how would you say um, he has influenced you? Uh, just just by his very presence and the and the upbringing I had of uh, you know. Um, I was brought up in the back rooms at gigs, you know, and uh, even from because being a little baby. Because he was baby, a musician. Yeah, yeah, he was playing, um, well, professionally uh, all over the world before I was born, and then obviously when he, when he settled down and had children, he didn't stop playing, so, you know. My mother's got stories of me in her womb um, and her going to gigs, and uh, as soon as the bass would come in, bass being my father's instrument, she you said would... I just used to go crazy yeah. inside the stomach. and So, I mean... That's that's a pretty early introduction to yes. uh, to music, yes. but but did uh, he teach you how to play something? Not really. He didn't have to. I was too interested in it anyway, you know. Um, so I'd just ask him for a few chords, and I'd go away and, and start writing songs. And for me, it was more about the songwriting than it was about becoming a great guitar player. Mm -hmm. And the more I wanted to write different styles of music, I had to sort of figure out new skills and stuff. But um, You would go to him and ask for Yeah, advice. I need another chord. Okay, um, <laughs> to play another song. Yeah, to play a different style or something. But... You also perform together sometimes. Yeah, we do, How's yeah. that? It's just amazing. Isn't it? To perform yeah. with, your, with your dad. Are you much alike? Uh, with, we're very alike. Um, we're very alike in our musical taste, I'd say. Yeah. Uh, and, um, you know, sensibility. 
One thing about you, a uh, last thing about you and your dad, you share um, a profound love for the music of the American band Little Feet. Mm, and you're even going to yeah. play a song by them for us. I am, yeah. yeah. Um, it's a band that was mostly active in the, in the 70s. That's Why right, do you yeah. love playing their song so much? Um, well, it's it's a band that sort of, uh, for me, sums up a certain era in, in in 70s America. They sort of stand in a similar uh, arena to Steely Dan and um, the Doobie Brothers and, mm. and the Allman Brothers and, and this type, style, style of music. But um, Little Feet definitely sort of blend more styles, more influences. You know, there's some great country in there too, as well as blues, rock and roll, boogie, funk. You know, mm. it's all in there. And yet, at the same time, uh, Lowell George uh, could write the most devastating ballad as well, you know. So that's kind of, um, I think for me and Dad, it's really a great blueprint for a career is to be able to throw in all those influences. That's also what you're trying to do. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. What song of uh, Little Feet? I'm going to play a song called Willing. Willing. Thank you mm. so much, Jack. Thank you.